personally, I believe, uh, is because of uh, the stigma still attached to mental health um, and the way men are still pressured to act a certain way. So I think for me personally, uh, the sports that I've always played have been very individual based uh, sports. So I used to play racket sport uh, and now I do quite a lot of sort of endurancey stuff, whether that's running or on a bike. And I think I spend a lot of time with myself. Um, and I don't think I always have that chance to talk to other people. I'm not really in that environment as much as well. So for me, talking about my emotions has always been uh, quite tough and, and a bit of a challenge for me to kind of open up to people. Uh, definitely need to build trust with people. But I think it's our culture and it's the behaviours that have sort of been built into us from an early age is that, you know, men don't show their emotions. And I think that's something that definitely needs to change as we sort of go forward. Um, and I'm a big fan now of you know, talking with members of my team and, and male colleagues and male friends. And even if it's just going for a coffee and just having a talk rather than trying to do everything over the phone or via emails, I think the importance of talking one on one to someone is really, really important. I think men find it hard to talk about their mental health because as kids, a lot of us were told, suck it up, stay quiet, deal with it yourself. And we've all got used to you know, expressing ourselves behind closed doors or just completely shutting ourselves out. But that isn't how it should be. Everybody needs to have somebody to talk to. Or everybody has someone they can talk to. Whether you feel like you don't, you definitely do. Because most people understand that you're not always going to have a good day. You know, you might be feeling really down. And maybe you do want your own space. But you should never dwell on that and you should never feel like you can't talk about it. You can. You always can. There's always someone there to. I think some men might find it hard to talk about their mental health because there's still an element, I would say, of kind of toxic masculin masculinity. God, that's hard word to pronounce. Where it's almost kind of looked down upon to express yourself and talk about your feelings. I have, like, I've had experiences where... Um, growing up, I approached people to talk about, you know, the anxiety I was experiencing and the depression, and it was kind of almost laughed about, which really did nothing but make it harder to express myself. Um, again, I think this comes back to perception, so obviously it's not seen as manly or masculine to have emotions, or again, that's kind of a preconception, but I think throughout society, um, men are kind of held into almost set ideology of being this strong masculine figure um, and be that sort of physical strength or emotional strength. Um, but again, like the definitions of what is emotionally strong is probably different. So like um, guys probably don't own up to having these feelings or or these troubles with the mental side of thing and um, almost fear of being perceived as weak whereas in reality it's probably the opposite effect um, so obviously not talking about it or bottling it up is actually causing the problem to exasperate and be bigger than maybe it would if there was that open dialogue and I do think um, obviously as the more recognition and more awareness is of these issues, especially with um, male mental health, the, those um, transmissions of communication are more open and that dialogue is more readily available. I mean, obviously it's a stigma to be a man, but it's much less so people saying it to others now and more so people having it in their own heads and believing that this is what you need to do. Um, I recently reached out to a friend who said that he didn't want to seem less of a person going through these struggles to appear pathetic despite it massive, visibly having a massive weight on his shoulders. Um, he thought, and he thought this despite myself and others in the circle advocating people to reach out if they were going through struggles and felt that they needed to um, have some support there. Um, I know he's not the only one. We all do it. I'm guilty of doing it. 
it's just that we don't want to seem a burden um, on others so we'll just try and stick through it it's basically an overestimation of bottling things up and sticking through it and hope it just subsides eventually if you ignore it long enough and it's an underestimation of how being open can be beneficial and just turn your life around when people understand that you are not okay but that's okay <laughs> well in, in my opinion it's through the history of male stereotypes so for example men should be big and muscular and confident do what's called manly sports uh, such as football rugby cricket for example and there should be a uh, show no real emotion and be really resilient physically and mentally um, be very hard working and but if any of them factors are, any of these them things are lacking um, this stereotypes and in history has been that sign of weakness we should be allowed to talk about the uh, issues that we're having with our mental health so i put this down to the man up culture that is really instilled on us all uh, it works for some people i think but everyone's built different and for others it really causes more harm than good um, we need to normalize being open with each other and that it's okay not to be okay i think there's usually a stigma attached to mental health and society still has sort of a man-up approach attitude to things or men talk about their feelings and thoughts are sometimes called beta males or something something like that there is too much competition every time men are in groups in places most in popular and known the pub they always believe that they have to act and know and think and drink as much as their peers and banter on the same level and if they don't then they feel that they will be laughed at bullied ridiculed and sometimes even forgotten about and it has happened many times in the past and because of that is there's always that impression that that will always continue to happen and because of this, men tend to keep a lot of these problems bottled up, which, as we've seen, can be self-harming. Also, another thing that I've witnessed and seen is that when men are in large places like clubs, they don't tend to act as a group or really make sure if everybody is all right and just, you know, if, if everybody's fine and not in any sort of trouble. And because of that... Therefore, men feel like they can only handle problems or really do anything that suggests, shows their vulnerability by themselves, as it seems like traditionally that's what is expected of a man. And that is absolutely not the case at all. Um, anybody should feel okay to consult someone in a group and, ha and get help. No one is ever fully perfect and that's another thing men feel like they need to be absolutely perfect at everything that's not the case at all